Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 14, food, and today I will deliver its eighth lecture. So my dear students, uh, in today's lecture, I will give you a complete review of this unit. So my dear students, let's get started uh, with the recap. So quickly listen to the question and then answer it. So my dear students, look at the pictures very carefully. And now tell me that how uh, you manage your daily activities. So you manage your daily activities ko healthy rene ke liye kaise manage karte hain? Because in the previous lecture, we made a timetable. So get up early in the morning, take your breakfast, then go to school, come back from school, and then take your lunch, have rest, take bath also, and uh, after that, um, um, study, play, and then take uh, um, your um, dinner and then go to sleep early. So these, uh, this is how we can manage our uh, daily routine. Okay, my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the Islamic perspective. So we covered the Islamic perspective that, oh yeah, people eat of what is on earth, lawful and good. So my dear students, let's quickly start the review. So my dear students, uh, in the first lecture, we um, the students were able to recognize that plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight. So we learned that animals, plants, jo hai, wo apna khana khud banate hai because they also need energy. So how they gain the energy? They make up their own food in the presence of sunlight and the process is called photosynthesis. So how plants they may, uh, make their food? They make their food in the presence of sunlight, air and water and the process is called photosynthesis. And in the next lecture, the students were able to recognize that different animals eat different kinds of food. So in the next lecture, we discussed that animals who have different tarahs of habit, eating habits. Hai. Some eat plants, some eat uh, other animals or meat, and some eat both plants and animals. So this is how they are different from one another due to their eating habits. So different eating habits in animals are plants eat uh, plant eating animals, meat eating animals, and some eat both plants and animals. So my dear students, in the next lecture, the students were able to identify the certain food groups as fruits and vegetables, grains, dairy products, meat, and dry fruits. So we have dairy products, meat, or dry fruit. Ke mein padha tha. This is also a food group. We have that five major food groups hote hai, which are very important. And you have to different ke jo hai wo, nutritions jo hai wo provide karte hai. So my dear students, basic food groups are uh, dry fruits, dairy, and meat. So in the next lecture, the students discussed about the next two food groups, which are fruits, vegetables, and grains. And they are also very important for our body to keep us healthy. So uh, basic food groups are fruits, vegetables, and grains. And then the students discussed about a balanced diet. And they also discussed that what happens when we eat a balanced diet. So what is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is when you take all the nutrition and all the food groups in a balanced way. So how eating balanced diet makes us healthy living? Because then we take in all the nutrition and all the minerals and vitamins which are necessary for our body to stay healthy. So my dear students, and in the next lecture, we study that keeping clean, eating, a good, um, eating good and exercising regularly also keeps us healthy. So my dear students, what are different factors of healthy living? They are a balanced diet. Um, keeping ourselves clean, keeping our environment clean, and taking exercise. This is how we can keep ourselves healthy. And these are different factors for keeping ourselves healthy. So my dear students, now let's move forward towards the practice because I have given you the review of the full chapter. So now my dear students, you can download this assessment worksheet from the description box below this video, or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So my dear students, the activity sheet, lecture number eight, you will write down your name and your class and then write down the uh, foods of the animals. Different animals ki picture aapko nazar aari hai. You have to tell ke kaun sa animal kya cheez khata hai. Okay. Then enlist the food groups. Aapko different jo five food groups hai, unke names likhne hai. Then which food item is big energy source? Sabse bada energy source jo hai, wo kaun sa food group hai, uh, which have carbohydrates in them. So they are the biggest source of energy. So how plants uh, plants make their own food? So you have to write that down that procedure. What does meat and grains provide? 
then what is balanced diet does your meal is balanced diet or not so this is a self writing question so write it down then enlist the factors of healthy living to kaun kaun se factors hain humne abhi study kiye the healthy lifestyle ke aapko wo likhne hain and what activities do you do for healthy living aur healthy living ke liye kaun kaun si activities hain jo ki jati hain aapko wo likhni hai so my dear students now quickly note down your homework so what you need to do is discuss balanced diet and healthy living factors with your parents and analyze that your meal is balanced and your activities are for healthy living or not uh, um uh, why ठीक है सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आपको अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ हेल्दी लाइफस्टाइल के ऊपर डिस्कशन करनी है आप उनको अपना टाइम टेबल भी शो कर सकते हैं जो हमने प्रोजेक्ट में बनाया था और आप उनको बताएंगे कौन कौन से फैक्टर्स इन्वॉल्व हैं क्योंकि सिर्फ ईटिंग हैबिट्स जो है वो आपको हेल्दी नहीं बनाती आपके डिफरेंट लाइफ जो है आपके जो डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स हैं जो आपके लिविंग स्टाइल के अंदर इन्वॉल्व हैं वो आपको जो है हेल्दी रखते हैं सो डिस्कस इट विद योर पेरेंट्स सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वट हैव वी लर्न फ्राम दिस चैप्टर सो क्विकली प्लांट्स मेक देयर ओन फूड different eating habits in animals basic food groups like dry fruits dairy meat fruits vegetables and green grains and what is the balanced diet we discussed that and we also discussed about the factors of healthy living eating balanced diet cleanliness sleep and exercise regularly so my dear students i hope you have learned a lot of things from this uh, unit keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz